We're going shopping. See, 5'11 not only sells tactical stuff, but we're going to the islands and we need shorts. So I'm here to get some shorts. The boys are here for some other stuff, but I'm here for some shorts. This crew over here hanging out. This is our like personal assistance crew right here. The Nashville store, it's where it's at. Oh, doing good, doing good. There they are. Long time no see. Know, man. What's Coming up, in What's here up dude? Money. What's going on, bud? Since it's getting to be riding season, I have a lot of people asking me about first aid and what we do on the trail. And we came up here to 511 to pick a couple things up. And I was talking to Dale, and, and actually Dale in here has all kind of cool first aid kits. He's got this really cool knife he's going to show us. So, you know, a lot of you have been asking questions about uh, first aid kits, accessories, all kind of cool stuff you can take on the trail. Well, my man Dale in here is going to fill us in on some of this stuff. So uh, when you hit the trail, you're ready. What do we got here, Dalen? So first thing we've got here from Adventure Medical. Uh, this is just going to be a little little trauma kit. Uh -huh. um, this is actually specifically designed for the off-road community. Um, what you're going to get in here, you're going to get Quick Clot, which is a hemostatic agent. It's going to stop all the bleeding. So yeah, you've got conforming gauze in here, trauma pad, gloves, everything you need for us to stop the bleed. Yeah. So that's nice and small. So they can mm -hmm. throw that in their backpack. What's yep. something like this retail for? Uh, this guy right here looking like 25 bucks. Okay, so, so not for, bad at all. Yeah, for 25 bucks, you got a pack that you can put in there, and uh, it's even like a Ziploc type pack. When you open it up, you can close it back up and reseal it. And that's important because when we're out on the trail, a lot of the kits that are out there don't keep dust out. You know, something like this will keep the dust out. It's sealed, and that's uh, pretty small. You can lightweight. Just throw it in your throw it in your bag, and you're good to go with that. Now for the person that likes to be a little bit more prepared mm -hmm. and wants more this is probably moving up into that this is so this you're going to actually get a tourniquet in this is all north american rescue mm -hmm. um so this is the u.s government contract everything that the u.s army is using these tourniquets they'll be familiar with them yeah um so this whole thing will fold out so you're gonna have your tourniquet you've got chest seals in here so any puncture wounds of the, the chest cavity, mm -hmm. you can actually seal those up until you can get, get help. Gloves. You have compaction bandages in here, rolled gauze, quick clot, which is the same thing we talked about in the trauma pack itself. Shears, and it's all in the convenient nice little package. Yeah. So, and something like that, it even has, you can strap it. Yep, can, so you can actually strap this to your belt. This is actually a thigh rig you can wear around oh, okay. your thigh itself. Yeah. Um, or you can cinch this around your roll cage on your side-by-side, -side, yeah. whatever you want to do with it. The, the kit comes together, um, and then we sell the actual holder for it for $44.99. And then these are all expandable, so you have Molly. So if you even wanted to stick your radio on it, it's Molly capable for this as well. You can either weave it through the laser cut Molly here, or go back to the hook and loop adapters like we were talking about and just stick it on itself. So this kit here, this one is the serious one for... Mm -hmm. um, it's the same exact kit, it's just an expansion. So this is gonna be yeah. like your family kit. Like you're out on your side-by-sides, your four-seaters, anything like that. You have something for everybody. Yeah. Um, tourniquets are, are huge, you know. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of false information out nowadays about tourniquets. Like, oh, you apply a tourniquet, you're gonna lose the limb. Yeah. That's not true yeah. at all. Um, there's been documented cases of tourniquets being applied for over eight hours and the limb has been salvageable. Yeah. Um, you know, basically what we want to do is keep the red stuff in. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what keeps us going. And this kit right here will allow you to do that until you can get to first responders or to a hospital. And you have literally everything you need in here times four. Um, that kit total for everything runs $420. Yeah. But you um, get a whole lot of stuff in this one. Yeah. This is like the big Mac daddy kit. Yeah. And for me, I mean, you know, for me, medical is huge. Yeah. $420 is a big investment for a lot of people. Yeah. But what if that saves my life? That makes yeah. it all worth it. Yeah. You know? So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's your life worth? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It is a true investment in yourself. So this big one is like 420 bucks, mm -hmm. and that one there with the pouch and the kit itself is probably 100, 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then this one here 25. was 25 bucks. So you have kind of everything you want, either the, the smaller pack you can take with you, and this is probably great for just trail riding, you know, especially short trips. Now, if you're doing some long overnight stuff, you're away from civilization, you know, you might want to look at something a little bit more, you know, elaborate there. For $100, you get everything you need. This is a flex radio pouch. 
And a lot of people ask me when they see on my side by side, I have a mag pouch that I put my two-way radios in. Well, that's exactly what this is designed for. I think mine's actually <laughs> a, just a mag holder. It's not even a radio pouch. So this is uh, exactly what that's designed for. So this will hold your two-way radio. Put that in your side by side and you just take and snap it on the back and I'll put it on my roll cage or you know, on some type of bar, I'll put it on there. So and the great thing about these new flex pouches too, so you have your standard molly, like mm -hmm. what you're used to. You can also weave this molly in these these adapters right here. Backside's all Velcro hook and loop. Oh, okay. All so right. you can actually turn these into just a Velcro pouch as well. And it, they're adjustable. So you have a wide range of adjustments that you can use them for. It literally just clicks in. So it holds it nice and tight. It's not something that's gonna dump out. This is the new triage from Benchmade. So Benchmade Knife Company, they're out of Oregon. It's 100% mm -hmm. USA made. Um, Benchmade uses premium material. So this is S30V steel. S30V is, it's actually a, like a powdered metal mm -hmm. that's actually compressed in. Super strong, super durable. Um, they are a little hard to sharpen, but the, the edge retention is better than a lot of your, like, you know, most knives you'll see are stainless steel. It's leaps and bounds above that. Yeah. So on this knife, you also have carbide glass breaker yeah and you, you said that, that works you tried that i did yeah, yeah it's awesome they yeah. work really well and then you actually have your seat belt cutter as well and this is literally it's literally designed seat belt runs across here uh -huh. pull out of your pocket just pull straight across yeah and that's all you need to do and that's it and it slices right through yeah so with a standard knife they're just not designed to cut a seat belt yeah, you, you can. I mean, it's um, a little bit. I mean, you can. Here's the problem of it, though. You're upside, say you're upside down in a mud hole. Yeah. Water's coming in. Am I really wanting to do this? Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's why a lot of these have designed seatbelt cutters on them. Mm -hmm. Can't stab anybody with that. Yeah. It has one purpose and one purpose only. I can do that not looking. Yeah. Hook straight across, slice through it. Yep. So it is, it is, it is a, a safety mechanism as well on it. Yeah. If you happen to be doing some four wheeling, a lot of times you'll see a side by side roll over in the mud, in the mud hole in the water, and sometimes they can't get out. This knife here, you could actually get in there, cut that seat belt, and get the person out. Whereas sometimes they get trapped in the side by sides underneath the water. Seat belt's locked; they can't get into it, and it's a matter of time. I mean, you're, the the clock is ticking once that thing's upside down and they're in the water and they can't breathe. So somebody has to have something like this to get them out quick. Yeah, so if this was a seat belt, and this is this is nylon ripstop material, just taking cuts right across. Wow. So it'd be super easy just to reach across and snag your seat belt. Yeah, that thing is quick, huh? Yeah, if you want to try it, man. Yeah, let me check that out. Oh wow, that is like, whew. wow, that's just like a hot knife through butter, mm -hmm. man. Holy heck! And I'm sure it works just like that on a seat belt because oh, yeah. that was nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Now you'll notice that we've been cutting up this pair of 511 pants. Dale and just didn't grab a pair off the shelf and we started cutting them. <laughs> These are actually damaged. They were no good. So he said, hey, let's try out the seatbelt cutter. So, you know, let's try it on this thing because that thing is tough. Wow. You know how hard that is right there. That's for your knife mm -hmm. and your pants so it doesn't wear out. And it just went right through that. Let's try doubling up on the material. Oh, yeah, definitely. This thing works. I'm telling you what, I'm sold. Seatbelt cutter. Y'all need one of these. Nice. All right, so all this stuff that we just covered, they could get at any 511 store they or can. online. 511.com or come into 511 Tactical Nashville. All right. We can take yeah. care of you. Yeah, so, I mean, there's 511 stores all over the country, but, you know, of course, our favorite ones here in Nashville, Dalen, my man, we come in here and we buy a lot of stuff. He always has the cool stuff, the goodies, and, uh, this is what we were talking about earlier. I said, you know what? We got to cover this because this is a question I've been getting a lot lately. So there you go. 511 Tactical has not just tactical stuff, but they got all your first aid stuff, knives, shorts, whatever you need. It's there. Check them out.